So we're just going to do a really quick video on um, how we do the fascia and soffit on this site. Um, this is probably the easiest version. It hasn't got ladder ends or anything, so we don't have to do a box end. Uh, so the bricklayers will do a corbel here. And to keep them all the same, like you see over there, um, we keep them all sticking out 160 mil from the face brick, 106 mil to the finished fascia. So first thing I'll do is minus the thickness of the fascia, one piece of fascia, which is like 18 mil. So I'll do it 20 mil. Um, so yeah, if I so I work out the plumb plumb cut of the roof with a sliding bevel in a second and go across and plumb all them off. So the fascia finishes at 160 mil. So to find out the plumb cut of the roof, we'll just use a uh, boat level, plumb that up, and then we'll set the uh, bevel up to that line there, and tighten that up. And now what Nath will do, measure 140 mil from the face brick to the sliding bevel on, on the trusses on each side, either end of the roof. 140 mil because then you've got your 20 mil of fascia which will give you a 160 mil finish. So you'll do that, mark that up there. And then same on the other side. again to do it on trusses either side of your roof and then they just put a little saw cut in that keeping the pencil line in on the other side of the line yeah like that and then same again the other side and we'll also tack a nail the other side to wrap the string line around and then another thing we need to do is just scrape the bricks down so uh, the soffit doesn't get trapped up. And another thing as well is we don't put a sub fascia, by sub fascia I mean 4B1. Uh, and if we were to do it, you'd have to just minus off another like 25 mil. So then it would be 4B1 there, fascia there. But we don't do it on this site, so we just take the thickness of the fascia off. So now when we where we put that soak up, we'll trap the uh, string in there. Trap the string in and then it gets tight tight up to the knot then. Like that. It's the easiest way to do it. And then again on this side, we'll get it in the saw cut and then wrap it around that nail that we've got there. And then that's it. Just make sure your string line is nice and tight. Um, and that's your first job done. And now what we'll do, we'll go along with the sliding bevel and just butt it up gently to the line, but not moving the line and mark all these off. Uh, and at this point now, you want to think which way you're more comfortable using the circuit saw. So I always prefer to cut them off the way that Nace marking it like that. So I'll walk the same way and cut it with the circuit on my left side. Uh, but if you're better the other way, then obviously you'd mark from this way. Mark called trusses on the other side, so just have a think about that as well. Uh, so now we're, they're all marked off. We'll take the line, the line off, and then we'll circuit down all them. So as you saw from that video, I always stand slightly in front of the circuit saw, so you haven't got any legs or anything in the way. You want to lab a leg off so to stand slightly in front of the saw so you're not near the blade and also when you're cutting you always want to keep the pencil line in slightly all the way up keep that pencil line in just brush up against it with the blade uh, so yeah then i'll there i'll cut off i'll scrape the brick wall um, and get the fascia tacked on so now i'll scrape that brick wall off um, I've just laid this plastic just slightly over where the corbel is. Normally the brick layers have done the corbel by now, but they haven't on here. So I just put the plastic slightly past, and then I've tacked a nail in the truss that that works to, which is there. So I put a nail in that, and we'll get this one fitted, and then the other half in after that. So as you can see from that video, when you're doing it on your own, I always just get a nail in the middle, roughly right, um, and then level it up with boat level. 
from and then level it up with the boat level either side so um yeah get it roughly right in the middle and then level it up either side with the boat level and then what i'll do i'll get my eye down it and get that lump out and then i'll fill in the nails from that and another thing i do i'll set my square up i'll put two marks to keep all the nails the same so i'll just sit that on the top like that and then get them all to that it keeps them square and all the right height So now I've just tacked it a few places along the whole run and I've just got it nice and flat across the top and now what I'll do, I'll just fill in all the nails using my square to keep them all the same. So all we've got to do now, um, once the soffit's in, we'll bang this 4 bit one in all the way through and then we'll off -cut, use the uh, pads that we use for the roof, we'll cut them in half and then use that to trap it down so we're not wasting anything. And also with the pads, if I've got another roof coming up, I'll use it on the other roof as well to recycle them. Another thing I need to do now as well is just cut that fascia off, using that as my guide, just cut that fascia off to, to the soffit. Then that's it, then hopefully the brit layers will just lay to that rather than just do their own thing. So yeah, get your face all set up nice, nails in nicely, uh, soft it, it's quite easy. And then I've just got a few jointers and stuff to go on that, but yeah, that's it. basically everything. There's nothing too hard and fast about it.